12 tonight. He's a notorious sex predator, and now he's back in the community. 12 News reporter Colleen Henry investigates the release of a pedophile priest whose church connections brought him special treatment and has some concern about his release. Yeah, it came in the mail. Peter Harrington learned about his new neighbor from a police flyer. It brought word a priest committed to a mental institution as a sexual predator was moving in directly across the street. What threw me is because of uh, his victims were uh, teenage males. So I have a 14 year old son. How do you feel about that? Uh, I'm not really happy about that. Father Norbert Mayday made headlines when he was convicted of sexually assaulting two altar boys he brought to a summer camp in Oshkosh. But it was the Chicago priest's privileges in prison that became fodder for a stunning 12 News investigation back in 1997. On August 27th, a hearse took Catherine Mayday to join her son in prison. For the first time in state history, a family funeral here in the prison chapel. The prison wouldn't let Father Mayday travel to his mother's funeral. Back then, 12 News revealed an agreement between Chicago's Cardinal George and Wisconsin Governor Tommy Thompson to bring the funeral to prison. The Chicago Archdiocese continued to fight for May Day's early release. Francis Cardinal George wrote May Day, quote, We are trying to have a sentence reduction in your case. Hopefully some good souls will see that six years of incarceration are enough to satisfy the state and any sense of justice. That failed. A judge committed May Day to a mental health facility as a sexual predator. But in the last week, the state released him to live in this Oshkosh home under strict supervision. State rules prevent sex predators like Father Mayday from answering the door. But Father Mayday offered a few words through the door. Hi, Father. Colleen Henry from Channel 12. Remember we talked a few years ago? Yeah. I can't, I can't uh, communicate um, because I'm uh, restricted here. Some of your victims' families thought you were getting special treatment. Do you think you're getting special treatment now? I'm under the same three rules as everybody else. That's small consolation to Peter Harrington or his 14 year old son. His friends can't come over. My nephews can't come over. Harrington is Catholic and believes being a priest makes May Day's crimes even worse. He doesn't think priest predators deserve any privileges. No matter what kind of celebrity status you have, you shouldn't have any, anything special treatments for yourself or anybody. 12 News asked the state if the church had any influence on May Day's release to the community or if his history as a priest would provide him any special privileges while on supervised release. A spokeswoman told 12 News she's looking into our questions, but we've gotten no answer. We will follow up. All right, Colleen, the church defrocked May Day in 2007, and now that he's released, he must wear an electronic monitor and for the first year may only leave his house if escorted by a chaperone.